welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a super exciting day because today we are going to be unboxing and setting up my new omelet egg glue chicken coop. So this is a chicken coop that can be found online. I will be sharing a discount code later in the video, but I am so excited to start opening it up, getting it set up so I can fill it with chickens here very, very soon. I'm going to have Cody helping me set it up. I believe it's going to take us a little while to set it up today. So let's get the chicken coop started. Woo! We have a total of eight boxes that arrived and they are all labeled to put them together. So we just opened up the first box. And the first thing we're pulling out is what is the feeder. There's a watering dish over here, which I believe has the instructions in it. And even some egg cartons, so when our chickens start laying some eggs. We've got ourselves the instruction manual that is going to tell us how to put this bad boy together. There's also tutorials on YouTube that show you exactly how to put it together if you get stuck which is super duper cool. And of course the wind is gonna be wild today. It says to assemble the egg glue frame and wheels. We can expect about an hour and a half to set that up. And then with the run, maybe in total three hours. So we have a little bit of a project on our hands this afternoon, but I am so excited to get this set up to be the home of my new lady chickens. Woohoo! is done. Got the frame assembled for the egg glue and up next we're gonna add the wheels onto it that will allow it to be portable which is super great so I can move the chickens around in their run. Let's get to it. The wheels are officially assembled so the coop will be mobile. And now it's time to do the fun part, the actual coop that's going to house the chickens. We still have to build the run, but we have completed the coop. I'm not gonna lie, it says it was going to take about an hour and a half to build it. I don't know if we're just slow or if their estimations are a little off, but it took us a solid two and a half hours to put the coop together with the wheels and the automatic door. So I'm gonna do a quick little walkthrough of the coop and then I think we're gonna move this to the backyard because we've been building it under the carport and then attach the run to it in the backyard so we don't have to move the 13 foot long chicken coop from our front yard all the way around to the backyard. But let me show you what this looks like because I'm so, so, so excited about this thing. All right, y'all, so let's do a little walk through. Here is my omelet egg glue cube. So Cody's gonna demonstrate how the door opens. It has a little handle that you can just open up, swing the door open and latch it closed so that it doesn't close throughout the day. However, we have the optional auto door that'll close the door. There's a sliding piece inside that'll close it and open it at certain times 
so that if I'm not home, the chickens can be safely locked up. We've got a little step ladder so the chickens can get up into the coop. And we're gonna walk around to the back, open up the back and show you a look inside. So the one thing that is super great about this coop is it's all this really sturdy plastic. So you can pressure wash it, clean it out super good. And that is one of the major pluses about this is the ease of cleaning. So the whole back door comes off. It has this little latch that you can just twist on and off and that opens and closes it. So here is what the inside of the coop looks like. Over here, I will fill this full of shavings and that is where the chickens can lay their eggs each day. On this side, this is the roosting bar. So this is where the chickens will come to sleep each night. And if you want, right here, there is a door that you can block the chickens from sleeping in the nesting area if you would like. This green door right here is actually the auto door that we installed. So that'll open and close when I tell it to. What's really great about these coops is the inside is all removable so I can easily pull it out and clean it. And then this is like a droppings box. So I just grab it right here and I can fill this full of either newspaper or shavings and that will make it a lot easier to clean out all of the chicken poop because chickens poop a whole lot. And you can just pull this out, clean it out, slide it back in and you're ready to go. That is like the main selling point for me on this coop how easy it is to clean. The chicken coop I grew up with, it was really hard for me and my mom to get in there and clean it out. So this is going to be a very nice thing to have. So I just pop the back door back on there, slide it on and we are locked in and ready to go. On the side, if you're coming to collect eggs, you can once again, just turn the latch, open it up and I'll be able to reach in grab their eggs and you know go make me an omelet we also have the optional wheels that allows you to easily roll the coop to a new area of the yard well cody and i took a break had some lunch and now it is time for us to assemble the run i believe the run i have is 13 feet long and it's attached directly to the coop so we've pulled all, all of our boxes behind me and me, Dad, and Cody are all going to work on assembling this because I do believe it's going to take at least an hour to do this. Judging by the last half taking a little extra time, I'm guessing maybe an hour and a half to get this all set up. Let's go. Update, we got a couple steps into the run building and realized we were supposed to build the run before we added on any of the sides. So, there's that. Uh, <laughs> currently taking apart the coop over here so that we can start building here. onto the run. Still on. Dang it, no good. now a couple of days later and I am here to show you my completely finished omelet eggloo coop. Me, my dad, and Cody got her all finished up and she is ready to throw some chickens in there and I can become a chicken tender. I wanted to show you the automatic door now that I have that installed and just show you what it looks like completely done and ready for some chicken. And here is what my omelet eggloo cube with the 13 foot run looks like. And here is the feeder and water that comes with it. It just hangs on the side of the cage, which is super convenient. But we've got the run attached to the cube and I am so, so, so excited to put me some birds in here very, very soon. 
Here is the little control box for the automatic door. And as you can see right here, this is actually a light sensor. So I have the automatic door opening and closing when it gets to a certain darkness or brightness in the morning and each afternoon. But I can open this up and I'm gonna show you how the door works. So if I sit here, I can hold the button for three seconds. And as you can see, the automatic door is sliding closed. It can keep them locked up nice and safe in the evenings and open up for them in the mornings. I'm gonna open it back up because I wanna keep it on its schedule because I'm wanting to make sure I have it nice and perfected before I put the chickens in there. I'm not gonna lie, I have not decided if I am going to be getting baby chickens or some kind of grown hens that are just about ready to start laying eggs. I want a couple of breeds that are not that common, so I may end up having to get some baby chicks, raising them up in the house, which is a super fun experience. But nonetheless, I have their new home ready to go whatever I get. But I hope that you guys enjoyed me showing the unboxing and building of my new omelet egglu cube. You're going to be seeing this thing a lot because I'm going to be out here talking to my future ladies every single day. I'm just so, so, so excited about it. Omelet was kind enough to offer me a discount code to share with y'all. So the discount code is going to be for 10% off of an omelet egglu cube. And the code is capital K Salome in lowercase letters 10 and then the percent sign. I'm gonna have it here on the screen and I'm gonna let you know down in the description how long that promo code is valid for. But I'm so excited to share this chicken ownership journey with y'all. It's going to be a fun one. So give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel down below for some more chicken adventures and hopefully the next video will be me getting me some chickens. See y'all again real soon. Bye, y'all.